Today, we're going to talk about China. Why? Because I was invited to play a show there. Last month, I received an email asking if I would be available to fly to China for a show. China. So I wrote him back and said, not happening. <laughs> All right, that didn't really happen. But this was a big deal. You can't just write him back and say yes without finding out what's involved. So you may or may not know this, but all social media is blocked in China. At least our social media is blocked in China. That means no Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. However, they do have their own versions of social media. So China's version of YouTube is actually called Billy Billy. Every year, Billy Billy films their New Year's Eve gala in front of a live audience. Then on New Year's Eve, they post it to their website for the people in China to watch. I was told over 300 million people watch it. I'll do it. However, the idea of flying to China alone was a bit unsettling. Again, once you're there, you have zero contact with the rest of the world. No Facebook, no Instagram, no Gmail, no Apple Mail, nothing. You're just alone. If someone decides to lock you up and throw away the key, you're just f So I decided to see if my old friend Rick K would want to join me. Most of you know I left the band around three years ago. However, Rick and I still keep in touch, text, email, that kind of thing. So I dropped him an email and asked if he'd like to go. About 15 minutes later, he emailed back and said he'd love to. It was nice having him along for the trip. We hadn't seen each other in a while, so it was great to just reconnect. The first thing we had to get was our visas. However, at the time, Rick was playing a show in Texas, and everything needed to happen really quickly. Unlike other trips we've taken in the past, in order to go to China, you must appear at the embassy in Washington, D.C. in person. So Rick jumped on a plane, and I headed to D.C. to pick him up at the airport. Then we headed to the embassy. I'm here at the airport to pick Rick up. <laughs> I can't find him. That's kind of bad. There, got him. All right. Well, unfortunately, that was a bust. Um, we didn't get our visas. That's not good. Unfortunately, the team at Billy Billy didn't send all the necessary paperwork. So I took Rick to the airport. He flew back to Texas. I drove home. And two days later, we had to do it all over again. But we got our visas. Now that we had our visas, it was time to learn the material. We just arrived after a 12-hour flight, and we have, what, 11 hours layover? Then we have eight hours, isn't it? Eight yep. And a half. We're in uh, Doha, Qatar right now, so. That was fun, wasn't it? That was a good time. That that uh, <laughs> 14 hours went like yeah, that. Yeah, I it mean, sure did. We're in Doha, Qatar right now. Listen to how quiet this airport is. All right, last one, and we will be there in, what, seven hours? Seven hours and 18 minutes. It'll feel like 15 minutes, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, it will. Well, we, we made it. We're here. How fresh are we? <laughs> oh, fresh as a daisy. <laughs> After we landed in China, they had a driver to take us to our hotel. Well, we're finally here. Two and a half days later. Wow. What a super long trip. Well, they really stuck us in a nice place. Looks just like a Motel 6, except different. Well, I'm absolutely exhausted, so I'm heading to bed. But before that, I think I'll eat one of these yellow things. Well, all right, today's the first day in China. I actually just fell out of bed a few minutes ago. Um, it's already made. I'm kind of a neat freak, it is what it is. Anyway, 
Um, today is rehearsal day, so they're going to send a driver around about probably 7 p.m., 6.30, something like that. Uh, we'll head to the venue, get all the gear set, uh, make sure the in areas are working correctly, probably run through the material a good bit, get all the lights, that kind of thing. Um, I guess it's kind of what I would call the, the pressure day, because most of the pressure uh, is actually on today, far more than the uh, performance. Once things are set, you just kind of do what you do. So it's really not that bad, but you know, a little bit nervous about today. Not gonna lie about that, a little bit nervous. Something in my damn eye. And then uh, tomorrow we have off. So we have a tour lined up, which is gonna be really nice. And then the following day, of course, is the uh, performance day. Something right in my damn eye. But anyway, uh, before that, uh, Rick and I are going to just kind of walk around, see what there is to see, relax a little bit. Uh, we're pretty tired. It's just right in there. Anyway, uh, should be a fun day. And here's the front of our hotel. And we're all the way up on the 28th floor. Rick's room is right beside mine. So we both have the same great view. But I really want to check out that thing at the park. Yeah, that thing. Well, we made it through the first day. Just got back to the hotel. Thought I'd take a minute and check in. Tonight was rehearsal night. So we were supposed to have tomorrow off. And then the following day, of course, is the, uh, the show. However, there were some mechanical issues, I suppose. So they scheduled another rehearsal for tomorrow. Uh, we actually need to be there at midnight. Uh, and then the rehearsal starts at 1 a.m. However, we did have the opportunity to go ahead and run through the material. So obviously I met the other two drummers. Kai was just adorable. And I obviously had the opportunity to meet with uh, Niango Star. Uh, he's Japanese and we both had translators, but seemed like a really nice person though. And obviously a monster player. Every person that we've met so far has been wonderful. So we couldn't ask for better. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this first segment. I'll be posting the conclusion of my time in China next week. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you've enjoyed the video, maybe give it a like. For merchandise, you can always pick that up at maddudes.com. Thanks for watching. Uh. <laughs> Is it that hard to say? Is it that hard of a line? Once we arrive, once we, 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 we. Today, we're going to discuss humor. <laughs>